Hi there and welcome to my little garden. So it is now uh, mid-July here on the Saskatchewan prairies and we have been having a lot of moisture this year which is great and now we are heading into some really hot days what we would call a heat wave here on the Saskatchewan prairies where the temperatures are going to be getting up into the 30s which is great for the garden with all this moisture um, everything is really taking off including the weeds and the quack grass so there is a lot of work to be done here in the garden so today i'm just pulling out my two zucchini plants here and i just wanted to show you how i'm going to do some pruning on them there's a couple reasons why you want to prune your zucchinis and that is to reduce you know the risk of disease and things getting into your zucchini plants that might kill them and also to maximize the um, amount of harvest that you can get off of it. So usually in the early morning is when you will find the um, zucchini plants are blooming. Right now we're at the middle of the day so it's warming up quite a bit so you can see that the flowers on the zucchini plant here are closed up but I'm happy to see that we do have one zucchini coming here so this would be the female flower that's got the fruit on it and this one here is a male there's probably going to be quite a few males here but usually you can see a little bit of fruit on the end and you know that that is a female flower so it looks like this did get pollinated successfully which is great so opening up the space here in your zucchini plant you know makes it easier for the bees to find those flowers and one of the things that you can do is anything below that fruiting spot here can be removed if needed just want to make sure you got lots of airflow here this plant is actually looking pretty healthy right now you can check for any leaves that looks like they are kind of dying off or getting disease or just hanging on the ground or soil and you can just clip those away right away so over here on this plant you can see I have a few more leaves that are looking not so healthy. This one here is kind of yellowed and dying off. So I'm going to go down to the base and just clip it right off. Just make sure you're using some kind of clippers. Don't rip it off. That should be good. As you can see I have another zucchini coming here which is awesome. So I just kind of look below the the fruit here and just remove any thing that's growing underneath we've got another leaf here that's not looking so good so we'll just snip that off right now again we've got lots of airflow here the sun can get at the plant good the bees can find the flowers over on this plant here looks like I have two zucchinis coming which is great and again some dying leaves here down at the bottom just going to snip them off so you can just kind of keep an eye on it any extra foliage that is kind of hanging over or if the two plants are kind of competing for space there you can just trim back some of those big leaves and just watch for more uh, female flowers coming so i have a whole row here of comfrey growing that I've just actually chopped away but this has been a great attractor to the bees as you can see they have lots of flowers on them there's even some bees buzzing around those flowers right now so that's just a great way to bring them to the garden and then hopefully they come over here to your squashes or your zucchinis like they did with mine and do some pollinating for so you so when you see one like this here that had the fruit on it it was obviously a female one that did not uh, get pollinated and it looks like it's just gonna yellow and die off so that does happen occasionally where it just gets missed sometimes the bees don't get in here and you know transfer the pollen from the male to the female in time but I think we have a lot more coming here so that shouldn't be a problem but just so you know that sometimes the uh, pollination doesn't happen and this is what one looks like when it's dying off so I'll just let it die slowly off and then probably just trim it away so you can also try some self-pollination on your zucchini plants here 
and it's usually early morning time that is the best I'm just out here and you can see we have a lot of blooms opening up these here are male flowers right here and then over here we have a female flowers you can see there's a little bit of fruit on the forming underneath the bloom here so this is a great time to just try some manual pollination I find just using something like a q-tip here works really good or maybe just a little paintbrush that um, you might have so you just want to go inside one of the male flowers here and just try to get some of that pollen off of the tip inside the blooms you can see I grabbed a whole bunch there just go over to the female flower and just rub off some of that uh, pollen right into your female flower pretty sure I got a pretty good dose in there put it in there and that should really help pollination and this fruit here this little tiny zucchini should start taking off and growing so you can try that as well if the bees aren't doing the job or you're just not seeing a good amount of uh, fruit coming in your zucchini this is another option you can try so this is something I've been battling with several different uh, plants in my garden this year every uh, pretty much every pea plant that sprouted in my grow bags that I had going got eaten up before I could even get a chance to protect them uh, I believe it's a little gopher that is getting into my plants here uh, he's been helping himself to my strawberries as soon as they are ripened and now I see he was in my zucchini plant here chewing on this nice little piece of fruit so hopefully um, the damage aren't isn't too bad maybe this will heal over and grow but I'm not sure so I think I'm going to have to put some netting around my zucchini plants as well because I really don't want him munching away on my beautiful zucchinis that are coming so I have some bird netting here that I've just cut up into smaller strips here I've been using this on my strawberries to keep the uh, the little rodent from eating my strawberries it seems to be kind of working definitely works good for birds because they don't like this netting I'm not sure how well it is working for the gopher because they maybe are not as uh, scared of this kind of netting or it doesn't really deter them but I'm going to try and protect the lower area secure it with some of my garden stakes and uh, hopefully this will keep him away from my little zucchinis So if you have any tips or tricks on how to keep uh, rodents out of your vegetables in the garden, please share them in the comments. So as you can see here, I have my squashes growing in a grow bag and a pot over here. So they, they do dry out a lot faster than if you're growing them in the ground. So you also want to make sure that you're keeping these well watered and give them a nice dose of fertilize, fertilizer every couple weeks. I've made up some of my own compost fertilizer tea that I have been feeding to all my garden plants here every couple weeks. So that's a very easy thing to just help keep your zucchini and squash plants healthy. I hope you found this useful. So please keep following me on my channel, hit that like button, leave a comment, and we will see you on the next video.